And this, the last recipe here this afternoon is um, the authentic Mexican breakfast crunchy burrito. Um, and I made this on Daytime Tri-Cities on Friday. Um, it's really, really good. And, but the thing about this is, is I don't know how many of you guys have, do you guys do stir fries at all? Anyone here do stir fries? Yes? Um, the important thing about a stir fry is that you have pretty much all the ingredients at your hands before you get that pan hot. So you can just like toss and move things fast and so you're not chopping, you're not doing any prep work while you've got the, while you've got the skillet going. So that's the same thing with this crunch wrap. I made everything in front of the crunch wrap. Um, I think I'll actually pop this skillet in for just a couple of minutes. Maybe not, maybe I'll just put it in the microwave. No, I don't think so. I think I will put it. <laughs> okay. All right, so for this, for this recipe, I've made everything in front. So I've made, the, I've made um, potato crowns, these little, and they're, you can find these, they're frozen downstairs. You can make your own hash browns if you want to. Um, when I make hash browns, I, uh, I just I grate a potato and um, put it in water for about 15 minutes to get some of the starch out of it. And then I dump it, um, I drain the potato really well, and then I put it on paper towels and roll them up and get it as dry as possible. Um, and then I have a skillet and then I put coconut oil in the skillet, about two tablespoons of coconut oil. And then what I do is the mason jar lids, the tops of the mason jar lids, the, the lid part that you screw it down with, that goes into the pan and then I put my hash browns into that. So it actually makes a round, round. And, um, and that makes it incredibly crunchy, incredibly crispy, uh, lots, of, lots of fat. <laughs> Low starch potato, salt and pepper, really good. That's how you make a regular hash brown. But you can use tater tots, you can use these crowns. Just depends on what you, what you like. All right. But what I do want to do, what I want to show you guys how to make is the sauce for this. And the sauce, now you can use salsa if you want to. Um, this again is a, it's funny because this rest, this class is really, really a no recipe recipe class. Um, but you get your shower cream. Anyone have problems with cilantro? Okay, no problems with cilantro. Love it. Okay. Does anyone grow it here except me? Okay. You never heard of cilantro? Okay. Cilantro is a um, is used a lot in um, recipes, uh, Mexican-based recipes, Indian recipes. Cilantro is used for. I'm just going to get a bunch of it. Put this in. I said, I said um, for daytime Tri Cities, I said, well, you know, it's St. Patrick's Day, is Wednesday, and I don't have anything Irish for St. Patrick's Day. But, you know, there's green going into the crunch wrap. So, you know, if, Ir if Ir Ireland owns green, then it can be the Mexi authentic Mexican Irish crunch wrap. Anyone doing anything for St. Patrick's Day? Any? No? Did you? Did you make corned beef hash? No, I, well, I mean, I bought the brisket and put my Irish whiskey in. Oh, wow. Beer and potatoes, carrots, and, and uh, cabbage. 
made that today, so it'll be ready for home. Irish whiskey you put into it. Ooh, you're going to have to share that recipe. I got it from a guy that came down here from Indiana from the race. It's really good. Oh, really? You got it from a race guy? Uh-huh. He's one of the he cooks for the, in one of the booths. Oh. All right, so this is a jalapeno. Anyone have any problems with a little heat? Anybody? Take the seeds out? Yes, I took the seeds out. And, you know, sometimes, um, almost all the time, I'll taste the jalapeno before I put it in. Um, this is see what kind of intensity it's got. Because um, most of the times it's just sweet. You know, there's not a lot of heat on it. Um, this one's pretty sweet. Also, I've found that um, the older the pepper, the hotter the pepper. And so if you get your jalapeno and you look at it and it's got cracks all over it, it's gonna be a little hotter. And I've also found that the longer um, your, your dish that has the jalapeno in it, the longer it sits around, the hotter it gets. Do, do you know that? Have you guys found that out? If you make the dish and the longer it sits. Longer it sits, the hotter it gets. Which is interesting because there's actually a pepper called ghost pepper. Yeah. I don't know if you, do you know about ghost pepper? Yeah. It's I mean, it's deadly hot, deadly hot when you first taste it. But then, um, within a day, it all goes away. And then it's just a sweet pepper. The dish that you've made you with a hot pepper. Ma what? Do you oh, what good. You're not talking to me. Yeah. Somebody here made ghost peppers? He brought it in and he said, you're welcome to try it. I don't think anybody did. Yikes! You have to order them from, is it from Mexico or? Well, actually you can, there's some people in this, in the, uh, in, at the farmer's market that you can get ghost, ghost peppers from. I don't know, I was thinking that he ordered it. This get a, this gets a little hit of vinegar. I'm using rice vinegar because that's the first thing I pulled out, but um, it's just a little bit. You can use white vinegar. Um, you want to use kind of a clear vinegar. So apple cider vinegar is not all that. Um, of course, it doesn't matter because it's kind of going in the wrap. So it doesn't matter what color, um, what color you're using. But like I said, I just pulled this out. Yum! And so this is a little, a little cooling-ish, um, cooling-ish ingredient that goes into the crunch wrap. So where everything else is hot, it, at your house, it'll be a lot hotter than it is here because I've made this, I've pre-made all this, I've pre-prepped all this stuff. So it's going to be not as hot as it would be at home, which is good because on Friday when I made the dish, I burnt every single fingerprint off my hand um, making it because I'll show you why here this takes bravery this is why they pay me the big bucks okay you turn your pan up to like six or halfway. <laughs> and you check to see how everything else is going in the oven. Because once you start this process, you don't want to stop it. You want to keep going. This is a large tortilla. It's the burrito size. And, um, you can get two, two crunch wraps if you're a normal, uh, well, I'm sorry, I take that back. 
that's not a, that's not appropriate. <laughs> Normal. I mean, so it's going to make a giant sandwich, I think. Um, but uh, you, you you know, if you're a, if you're a smaller person, it's for two. This makes for two two people. Okay, so I'm going to let this heat up just a little bit more. There's a lot of recipes um, on the internet for this particular for this particular dish, and it's just a lot of I like it. I think it's just a lot of fun. Somebody was somebody came in earlier and said that they weren't very fond of uh, burritos. I went what? Not fond of burritos. <laughs> Everyone here like burritos? Everything okay? You don't like burritos? Okay. Do you, do you not like the, the tortilla itself or do you not like the stuff that goes into it usually? The tortilla. You don't like the tortilla? Okay. When I first ate one, it was icy cold. Oh, it law. Served to me cold it was served cold. cold. Oh. But I've tried them since, but I just. Okay. Alrighty. So this is getting hot and it's starting to, you want it to brown up, you want the tortilla to get brown on one side whenever you start to build it. Um, you can use whatever kind of cheese you want. This cheese is just a, is a regular cheddar cheese. But you can use, if you can find a nice Mexican cheese, a melting cheese, use that. Um, but this is just a regular old mild cheddar because it was in the fridge. Again, this is a no recipe recipe. <laughs> I'm going to keep putting these back into the fridge. Into the, yeah. Okay, so you start by putting your taters down. Kind of good sized chunk of potatoes. And then you put some egg on. All right, and then you put some sauce on. Looking okay so far? Then comes your bacon. And your cheese. Did I miss anything? Now, <laughs> here comes the hot part. Yes, you can burn your fingers because this can get pretty dang hot. So now you just start working it around just like a burrito and then you give it a flip and just let it sit there for just a second and let your fingers recover. Yum. I'll make a couple of these. All right, well, you know what? I was thinking about maybe using um, something else, like, um, Grace! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to use a little grease. 
because I've got it. You really want to burn your fingers. That's all right. I got to toughen up. Okay. Nothing. Oil. Yeah. And it just it Does it brown it nicely? And a wok works too with that. Oh, yeah. Does it? Yeah. Well, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do one without any oil at all. I can hear it underneath me here. Sizzling. Sizzling. Getting so wanting my fingers. Again, you got to work kind of quickly because otherwise, ow, um, it will the tortilla will stiffen up too much for you. You can also use a a turner, a spatula, so you don't hurt yourself so badly. That's pretty. Painful though. <laughs> no pain, no gain. I need the unguentine. And I'll do one more. Just the skillet is just the way it is right now. 